Ferris here. Each month, my team and I carefully study industry news, announcements, business trends, and highlight 10 opportunities to start or to pivot to a new business in consulting and services. Here's a quick preview of our topics for this month. Number one, where great startup ideas come from. Number two, imperfectionism. Number three, Americans are working fewer hours. Number four, security in government. Number five, accountant shortage. Number six, e-learning. Number seven, LinkedIn Global Green Skills Report. Number eight, consultants emerge as early winners in generative AI. Number nine, large data models and data clean rooms on Snowflake. And number 10, cookie deprecation and EU data transfer. Now, even if you're not familiar with these topics, keep watching. I'm certain you'll learn something new and identify an opportunity that's both lucrative and promising. Before we dive into tips on specific verticals, let's review some higher level principles and trends, starting with an article from Inc. on where great startup ideas come from. This article echoes a few themes I also emphasize. Number one, take advantage of market shift. Number two, don't fall in love with an idea too quickly. And number three, build on top of a core competency. Click the link below to access my YouTube playlist on business ideas where I cover these three themes and more. Now let's talk about the second article, embracing imperfectionism in uncertain times. This HBR article warns us against overly theoretical strategizing and encourage entrepreneurs to act fast, implement, deliver, experiment, and problem solve. And I can tell you, if you solve problems, a lot of clients will come your way. Now this guideline aligns well with what I covered in my business planning series. I walk you through every step on how to set up your business plan. But at the same time, I emphasize that you need to act fast, start a business, deliver, learn from your mistakes and improve, and you'll be on your way to grow that business. Next, Americans are working fewer hours. This Bloomberg article analyzes data from the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. It revealed changes in hourly employment that may foreshadow long-term downward trends in many sectors. I'm going to take it a step further and say it may also indicate broader business trends and business opportunities. While the article focuses on the overall reduction in hours, notice that workers in professional services and other services, they're clocking more hours today than a few years ago. Also, note the gains in education and health. While I can't tell you how to become a doctor or a teacher, what I can tell you is tell your consulting services so you can appeal to these recession-proof verticals. Next, from the journal, Cybersecurity and Government. Another domain that's pretty recession-proof is, and this is an industry I have a lot of experience in in my previous consulting businesses, is government. The public sector, the government, has a great need for a wide variety of services. Several articles I have recently come across highlight the need for cybersecurity in government. From the US federal government, to Dallas, to Fayetteville, Arkansas, email and other technology systems are under attack. President Biden's 2026 cybersecurity goals point to even further momentum in this sphere at the international level, at the national level, at the municipal level, and everything in between. So if you're thinking of starting your own IT consulting business or cybersecurity business, the time is now. Up your game, get the right certificates, get the right credentials, a whole lot of opportunities are there for you. Next, from the journal, accountant shortage. Now my own business experience has taught me, has painfully taught me how important accountants are. So I'm not surprised there's a shortage of accountants. If you have experience as a bookkeeper, an accountant, or even a CFO, and you want to start your own business, think about ways to expand, to enhance your appeal by highlighting experience you have in a vertical. For example, law, construction, or hospitality. It is the combination of core technical excellence coupled with vertical specific experience that will differentiate you from the rest and often closes the deal. If you're finding this video useful, let me know by clicking the like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe to this channel. Next, e-learning. Now, e-learning and entrepreneurship are often not mentioned in the same breath, but with a market size of $400 billion in 2022, the e-learning industry is projected to grow at 14% annually. The large enterprises typically have in-house resources for developing and delivery of e-learning, but the SMBs, the small and mid-sized businesses, they have the same need, but they don't have their resources. This is your opportunity. If you have experience in education, e-learning, or instructional design, you might be able to offer a Fortune 500-like service to the SMBs and grow a very, very sizable business. Next, 
the LinkedIn Global Green Skills Report. This report and data visualization indicate a 15% year-over-year increase in job postings requiring someone with at least one green skill, a skill that has to do with environmental sustainability, and also a 29% greater hiring rate for someone with at least one green skill. This trend may point to increased demand for companies who are offering services in compliance, risk management, or operations. Even if your area of expertise is in fields such as accounting, cybersecurity, or e-learning, think of how you can combine these core competencies with knowledge about sustainability. This will definitely give you an edge over unspecialized vendors, and you're likely to close more deals. Next, consultants as early winners in generative AI. This Wall Street Journal article confirmed that many companies are starting to engage IT consultants to best leverage ChatGPT and other generative AI tools. This HBR article entitled, Should You Start Your Own Generative AI Company? points out that AI and services in AI may become commoditized and that you may be able to better compete if you focus your offering on a specialized generative AI application. As an entrepreneur, it's always good to think about how you can differentiate your own business's value proposition and also think about how you can provide the needed service beyond the Fortune 500. Let's continue with the theme of specialized tools for generative AI. Snowflake continues to emerge as a leading platform for privacy-safe data integration and analysis. Snowflake has also recently announced its own LLM capabilities. ChatGPT and BART are themselves LLMs or large language models. Many successful consulting businesses have started with a primary focus on maximizing the technical capabilities and the business benefits of one platform. The key is stand out with your superior implementation, amazing training, unparalleled support, and content around the technology, and also engage your technology partner and benefit from that partnership marketing. Let's conclude with another privacy-related article. This article relays a media CEO's perspective on cookie changes in Google Chrome for a privacy-safe alternative. This little technical change is a very big deal because it touches everything we've been used to in digital advertising. Companies of all sizes and all verticals are having a difficult time keeping up with all these changes and the implication of these changes on their own digital marketing programs. If you have experience in digital marketing and you can stay on top of all these privacy related changes, you're likely to be in a good position to start a new consulting business. There you have it. Thank you for watching. If you have a question about a trend you're watching or you're trying to start a new business and you're struggling, leave me a comment or go to our website, startupwithferris.com and submit the Ask Ferris form. See you next time.